Hello everybody, it's here again with another Blade Assault run. And uh, yeah, today hopefully we're gonna be a bit better off. We didn't really unlock that much of meta progressions that could carry us. But uh, at least we got some more max HP and some more damage. So we should be a bit better. But what we actually care about really here is to maybe get a, leg a core, a weapon core. Because in the last run... Wow, this is like such a good start, right? Gotta get rid of these frogs earlier. I'm also not gonna open up chests until I actually clear the room. I have decided again to change it up. Because last time with the boss battle, deleting my one drop. Oh, seems like in a normal run you actually start out at one and not at zero. Wong Wong. This time I have gone with the crits give you more MP. Let's go backwards and unlock that. I, I saw that I have a ice core to get. Max HP by 10. Increase weapon damage, normal attacks. When hitting an enemy, there is a chance to get some gems. Um, although this is 15% more damage, let's go with chance to get gems now that we have it early on. Maybe we can fund a good run. So, Frost Storm. Replace the sub-weapon projectile with Frost Storm. The Frost Storm does not collide with enemies, but inflicts chill on enemies in its trajectory. I like that. Again, Ice Shield. The Ice Shield absorbs damage and enemies that attack you are inflicted with freeze. Cooldown 60 seconds. 4% of max health. So, I always have a 64% a max health refresh every 60 seconds. Reduce damage taken by 5%. Uh, let's go. Let's start with the weapon. I want to see the weapon. Okay. Let's go get another ice core then. Okay, everybody's toast. I should try to destroy the these frogs first. I can get this while I'm going backwards. Wong Wong. Spinny Spinny. Wind attack. So it's just chills the enemies? What's happening? This guy's stun immune or what? If you do a single jump, it almost does like half a jump. But if you do a full jump, it does like a mega jump. Seems like for some reason the, the double jump of the jump is bigger than the normal jump of the normal jump. Cryogenic weapon. As cold energy to the main weapon and enemies hit by cryo weapon are infected with chill. Nice. We found a heroic weapon upgrade. It charges one frost arrow every second. When three frost arrows are charged, the arrows will fly at enemies and if enemies inflict are with chill. It increases crit damage against frozen enemies. Right. Well, let's get the cryo weapon. Now I have a crab weapon. Look at this frost blade we're carrying. Nice. At, la at long last, we now have a good weapon. Increase our weapon attack by 10%. And when hitting enemies, you gain 4 gems. And uh, increase crit damage of all attacks by 10%. Well, can I see how much crit chance I have? Crit chance right now is... 3%. Uh, so let's get for sub weapon attack by 10% boost. So my little ice ball of iciness. I have to count how many chests I find so that I don't backtrack all the time. I have to count how many. But, uh, let's go for the meta currency. I will always go for the meta currency unless un unless we actually have everything meta currency related. So now my attacks inflict chill. That means I'm freezing enemies. Does chill do anything else other than that? Freeze enemies. How many stacks of chill does an enemy need to get frozen? Or does chill... Chill most likely is gonna be slowing down enemies other than freezing them, I'm pretty sure. Wait, how did this guy get chilled? And you are toast. 
Mm. Whoop, explosions or what? Of course, of course. A good old last ditch effort from the enemies. Let's get some upgrades here. I saw there is a midpoint. Midpoint increase weapon damage by 20% for each space between you and the enemy. Increase main weapon normal attack crit rate by 3%. I like that. And 10 max HP. Let's get 3% crit chance. Crit chance is gonna give us more MP. Then again, I didn't count the chests. Should start counting the chests. And let's go to the midpoint and lower. First of all, I'm gonna definitely lower our difficulty. What's the choices here? Increase the main weapon attack by 15%. Uh, yes. Oh, I can buy the same thing again and again. Okay, got it. What do you sell? You sell increase max HP by 50. Is this permanent? By 20%. Feels permanent. 20% is like 40 HP. How much do you cost? 300. Um... Let's lower the difficulty. Forget the max HP. Let's go to Hudson, the car. The dealer, the dude, the guy. Come on, my dude. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, skip everything. Let's go to the next stage. This guy is selling things for 700. And yeah, without that guy getting upgraded, I don't think I'm going to be using him. Let's send off the electric ball of doom until we actually get our cooldowns in. And I have to remove one chest here. Let's activate the... Whoop. I saw the ROM coming in, but I never decided to react to it. Seems like the, the most powerful skill we have is the spin attack. Like, by far, the spin attack destroys enemies. What? Insufficient energy? Was that it? I'm not sure that uh, that walking uh, ice ball does actually anything important. Are you restarting me or what is happening here? I hate those enemies. I hate a lot of enemies. <laughs> okay, first, seems like I should first go off against the ranged ones. It should be a given, but... Seems like there are also blinkers. And uh, also, whoa. Okay, I will continue with the frosts for now. Let's go back and open that one chest that there is. 154 is gonna have legendary in it? Nope, it has an epic though. Charge a weapon with energy every 5 seconds and stun enemies in a set area when you attack with a charge weapon. Applies elite. Applies to elites with a debuff immunity as well. Ooh. Increases sub weapon attack by 25%. Charge, energy recharge. Let's get the stun. Let's get the stun. Is it visible? I don't know if it's visible. Electricity or frost? Uh, let's continue with frost. Dash. Cause ice explosions at the end of your dash. Enemies will have a chance to be inflicted with freeze. Freeze yourself to become invincible and slowly recover HP. Once the freeze clears effect, deal damage to all surrounding enemies and freeze them. HP recovery is uh, 6 times 3, 18, 18 healing. I recover. So this is an ultimate. Enemies under the effect of chill ha will have reduced movement speed and attack. Uh, I like this very much, but let's get the hyper core that heals us, to be honest. This is a heal. How much does this thing cost? No energy? Nothing? Is this a one-time thing? Oh! It's 150 cooldown, 80 mana costing ultimate. Let's go with free. The, let's go with more frost cores. Because if it wasn't apparent, frost cores actually combo with themselves. I'm gonna come back for that one chest. Although it feels like this is the boss room, to be honest. You know what? In case that's the case. I tried to dash through that. Yeah, in case this is the boss room, let's actually start opening up chests right now. Increase main skill weapon and attack by skill... Let's, let's pause while I read. Increase main weapon, basic attacks and skill attack by 20% if you're at full HP, never happening. Energy regen and never hitting an enemy, there's a chance to get... Let's get some energy regen, just so we have a baseline energy regen. 
Let's pick up this. It's really bad that although we have no enemies, I have to pause and check. When hitting enemies, gems, yes. Oop, a, uni, a, uni, a legendary when used goes into a rage for 7 seconds. Increase movement speed by 30 and attack speed by 30. 40 second cooldown, like that. When an enemy is killed, there's a chance, 1% chance to acquire cheese that recovers by... Yeah, let's get the uh, HP regen chance. Let's not get a temporary... What is this? Uh, What? Uh, current currency for other current currency, current currency for other current currency, meta currency for current, meta currency for current. No, everything's bad. Would be nice if there was the opposite. Is this the boss room? No, it was not. So I lost some time for no reason. I tried to dash through that in time, but as you saw, I was not able to. Let's charge up our mega weapon. You know what? Let's gain. Oh, we found the cheese. Let's gain some mana. Maybe we even activate our ultimate here. Whoop. Is it gonna explode today or what? I don't understand. I got into some poison there. Okay, I need to be quicker with this. I need to not actually dilly dally and stay around. I was thinking that my freeze is gonna carry us, but that seems not to be the case. Uh, main weapon upgrade, normal attacks, increase cry weapon, normal attack. Increase cry weapon, normal attack. Okay, I like that. Replace the sub weapon projector with a frost storm. This is what I already have, it's just gonna make it stronger. Reduce damage taken. Let's go with 20% uh, more weapon damage. Uh, okay. Flame core, I'm forced to. Do I have a choice? Why is that? Oh, it's a one room, most likely because this is the boss room? I don't understand. I do not know why there is where there are two doors. It seems it feels like there are two doors because uh, that's how the layout is, and I actually have access only to one because it is the boss room. I tried to dash just so you guys know. Okay, this this was my fault completely, but the other one was not. I'm most likely gonna go down here. Uh, max HP, damage, reduce sub weapon energy consumption, increase main weapon attack consumption. No, let's uh, let's go with cheaper main weapon of weapon attacks actually you know what heal up i don't care i don't care that this thing does damage just gonna use it as often as possible i have a difficulty of spotting where is what if it wasn't already apparent Also, uh, the, it doesn't really feel like there is a... How are you exactly? Come on, we have played before. Uh, it doesn't really feel like there... Yeah, I'm gonna go down here just so that everybody knows. In case you guys didn't know, this is a loss for sure. It's okay, it's okay. How long are we running this thing? We can do another one real quick. Let's go. Maybe we get something that is not Frost. Frost didn't really help us out that much. Come on, upgrade us. Uh, I have 45. The weapons cost 50. It would be so nice if I had enough for a weapon. Well, let's get one more HP. No, I can only get one. So let's just get damage. And let's go on. Now I can also get another passive upgrade on the weapon. Let's get even more energy when we attack. Let's continue with the weapon energy weapons. You know, I didn't find the... I didn't find Hank, I think. I didn't find the weapon upgrader. As if that's what's gonna help. Oh no, if I... Actually, you know what? If I remember... Okay, you know what? It really feels like you don't have the energy. Sometimes I'm pressing the shoot button and it, it isn't doing it. I don't want to be salty. Okay, let's uh, let's stop. Sometimes inefficient energy. Oh, okay, I see the problem. I'm always trying to do the weapon shot right after I do the spinny attack. But almost always insufficient energy. Okay, we are done here. Flame core, flame attack weapon, come on. Yes, ignition weapon. Your main weapon becomes ignited, the enemies hit, uh, become ignited. 
11% uh, increased damage to enemies. Oh, nice. Let's go for ignition weapon. Now I have the flame blade. It was the frost blade and the flame blade now. Let's also get a passive that happens to be legendary. Nope. Steel gems. Chance to reduce damage received to 1. 5% chance to take 0 damage. Let's, uh... Let's go with that. I mean, if it procs once, it's gonna be like healing 10. Or 15, or I don't even know how much damage. Let's go with electricity. I don't like ice. I hate ice now. <laughs> I'm an ice hater. Imagine us getting electric weapon too. I'm pretty sure they don't stack. If anything, I'm gonna lose one of them. And burn weapon seems to be doing its its job. Which would be to do more damage. Uh, let's continue. Oh, I'm chasing down enemies, but the plateau seems so weird. You know, for some reason it feels weird going up and down. Wrong. Dash. Okay, what do we get for electricity? Electric weapon. Adds electricity to attacks. Increased weapon attack. Once enemies are hit, strikes them with chain lightning. Let's go for chain lightning. Should I lose an upgrade? Increase crit damage, 25%. Dashing strikes are behind you with a thunderbolt. It does 30 damage. Uh, let's keep the fire weapon. Let's go for the thunderbolt strike. I'm not going for critical chance because... Because I have 3% crit chance. Chance to bleed. Steel gems. Let's go for steel gems. It's pretty early. Is there another chest? Why do I forget if there is another chest or not so often? This uh, lightning thing happens even if I blink in the air. Nice. Let's go for air. Uh, air. Go for water, ice, whatever. Which I actually don't really like, but maybe we find something good. Maybe we find the, the healing ultimate again. Because that wasn't really that bad. Healing 16 health every once in a while in this game is pretty decent in my opinion. Spinny attack. Right now the spinny attack is destroying enemies and burn is also doing its job. Wrong. Yeah, obviously. Alive even after they will go down. Wrong. It, it, it really feels like the cooldowns are a bit too long. Like, just just a, a smidge too long. I don't know. Oh, enemies that explode. And enemies that survive after they go down. Like, just a bit. For example, instead of being 6 seconds or 5, it should be like 3. I don't know. Recharge one frost arrow every second, every 3 arrows. Yes. Uh, cause nice explosion. That's gonna be the other dash. Nope. Uh, gain a shield. Uh, let's go with the shield. It's a 3% shield, though. Uh, because it's a normal level, I'm guessing. Anyway, I will go for the shield, so... Because the other time we found it was a 4% shield, and I think it was a rare version. So it seems like you can get the same passives, but with different... Normal weapon attack damage, with different uh, stats on them. There isn't another chest. There is not one chest. I don't need to go there. Just have to count the chests, man. Why, why am I not counting the chests? You have 600 in the bank. Maybe we can buy food? Increase movement speed. I don't care about movement speed, man. Uh, movement speed, even worse. Uh, get the danger level down. And uh, let's go to the other guy that actually we don't care about. Come on, my dude. Come on, I know you're selling things for 500. 500, let's go. You know, I didn't check... If I have found any cubes for friendship, but I'm I'm gonna assume that you get only three cubes from beating the boss. I didn't beat the boss, so I did. I see the samurai there, and I see you too. Okay, I might go a bit slower. One chest. I might go a bit slower here, but at least I will try to not get hit that often. Ignite. Okay. Okay. 
Is this game randomly generated? It feels like the the enemies and the layout is almost the same. Okay, that was my bad. This guy is death immune for a bit. Also, I don't know if there's a point in charging my weapon. I think it actually does more damage, but it's not like it does actually do more damage. It's just my thought. You guys are burning, okay? You guys are going to go down. Okay, uh, Frost or um, HP? I would think HP. But uh, the Frost Core might have also some healing or some defensive capabilities. Uh, gem Steel, crit damage. Let's go with every 5 seconds I can get a Mega Hidden. Let's, let's go for health. I mean, I might in, or even only heal. Oh, 80 healing. Ah, this is nice. 40 healing and 50 max HP. And let's go for the Ice Core. So we get another Ice Upgrade. One chest. But I remember a chest. Nice. Two chests. This is not the boss room. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I saw that guy. I tried to double jump. I didn't have a blink. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowly... I'm slowly looking what the weapons are trying to... The enemies are trying to do. Okay, let's go through this. Okay. Ice core. Give us the ultimate that heals us. The better shield. It's gonna become a rare. It's also gonna go up by two. Full dash. No. Uh, enemies under the effect of freeze. That was always never happen. A critical. Ah, this will always never happen. Let's go for the shield. A bigger shield. Open up chest number one. I remember there are two chests here. 7% uh, chance to take almost zero damage. Uh, crit rate to 50. When used, increase crit rate to 50. Wait a second. So I'm gonna give, become a mega critter. Yeah, let's go for the mega critter. Hopefully this has like... Yeah, it seems to have no charges. And HP, weapon damage. 5% damage or 2% to take no damage. Let's go with 5% damage. Because I know the enemies are going to scale pretty quickly now. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this. I think I'm gonna do this. Um, yeah, let's do this. I have some more of those. And the next is gonna be the boss room, like for sure, because the open room is broken. The room above. I didn't get two chests, right? Did I get two chests or did I just say I'm gonna go get two chests and then leave the one behind? I think I got two chests. One chest here. Wait, this is the boss room. Come back. Open up. Oh, what's this? Increases the level of all owned electric cores by one. I'm gonna take that up. Increases hitting an... Wait, how many electric cores do I have? This is uh, Thunderbolt. This is electric. And uh, that's gonna be it. Max HP by 10. Chance. You know what? I, I don't care. I'm gonna upgrade my lightning. Is this permanent? Is this gonna level up every every upcoming up too? Or just the ones I had already the moment I picked that up? Oh, I saw the poison on the ground. So now this thing does like two electric strikes. So that was definitely a good upgrade. And this is the boss room fight. Wong. I know you. Let's see how this goes. I like that the electricity just strikes him right away. Uh oh, a bunch of... Oh! Wow, 
Why do I... Oh, I get plus two gems every now and again. Spinny. I'll use the spinny to go towards him and not away from him. Yeah, you're toast, my dude. Spinny! And I forgot to drink my hot sauce. Now we've got some cubes. Yeah, now we have three cubes. Let's go for healing on max HP. Is it gonna be there? It's, uh, it's not here. Increase max HP by another 15. And I'm gonna heal again fully. I'm gonna take that, obviously. And let's go. Okay, we're gonna go for difficulty level down, obviously. So, let's do that. Okay, no. First, let's do this. Both hit combo 300 damage, normal attack. Increase the AoE damage of the skill by 10%. So the skin is gonna, the skill, the the spinny slash is gonna become better. Uh, increase skill crit, increase scan, enemy slain by the skill now throw out a blade shard. I like this. The skill is replaced by chain rake attack. Deal 6 damage, chain rake is thrown and deals. So this is gonna throw the attack. Now let's go with this. Let's make the skinny attack a bit better. Make it even bigger. Okay, danger level. Uh, HP recovered 50, I would say most likely not. Let's first upgrade electric core. I want to upgrade this. Now it's going to leave below behind him three strikes. Da -da -da, three strikes. I cannot heal anymore. Eh, I can actually do nothing. Let's go. I like my dash. Dash leaving electricity behind. Spinny, whoa, the spinny became extremely awesome now. Okay, poison dude, you know what? A chest, gotta remember that, one chest. As long as I'm dashing, enemies are not really doing anything. Only if they're like standing in two chests. How many shocks can I leave after my dashes? I can leave like 7 or 8 at some point. I always upgrade like the same skill. Electrify these guys. I got hit. I got hit like 3 times. Very nice. Where's my passive that says that I have a chance to not get hit? Whoa. Spinny of Doom. No, uh, I did not want to go in there. I wanted to just do this. Oh, I saw him explode too late. And I just drunk my crit chance thing. The moment I real I, I arrived at the second fight and we already start losing HP every left and right. Crit damage. Energy recharge and uh, ice course. Let's go for how much crit do I have? I have three percent crit chance. Oh no! Let's go for this. I have like the sauce of crit damage, crit fifty percent crit chance. The one that's cooldowning right now. Cooldowning, cooling down. Stun every once in a while. Take this too. I like my three electricities while I dash. Let's go with electric core. I don't care. Electric weapon, no increased crit damage, useless. Um, taking damage causing electric explosion, enemies hit blast, chance to be shocked. Ah, ta -ta -ta. let's go for explosive damage when getting hit. Electric core goes on or healing? I would say healing. I mean, I should have took the healing here too, but but that's me. I thought it was gonna pay off, but it whoops, instantly got hit. Let's remove those little rats that throw the poison. You know I can cheese this and just dash around all the time and not actually care about anything. Oh, I forget the mega spin for some reason. Nope. What? Where did that guy appear from?
Okay, I'm gonna drink my tequila. I did it. And everybody got destroyed. Nice 10 healing for once. Let's jump out. I'm just gonna spam some electricity here. Mega spinny. And this guy's gonna explode. Oh no, he was just... Okay, let's go for the healing. I found 80 healing, so I'm gonna pick that up. Once in a while you have to play the safe game. Ready to lose it all. Ready to play the game. Okay, there isn't another chest after this. 10 health. Crit rate of the sub weapon. Okay. Sub weapon energy consumption. Um let's go for the crit rate, I would say. Now let's go for the energy consumption. 3% crit on everything. Main weapon 5% more damage. Let's get 3% more crit. I know the numbers are small, but it's 3%, so. A fire or lightning? I would say fire, to be honest. Uh, although lightning is also... Nah, let's go for lightning. Maybe I find another dash upgrade, leaving behind four electricities. One chest, got to remember that. Wow, that, that spinning attack destroys enemies. Okay, you can like stay there and burn until you go down. Okay. Two chests. That was a blinker. Let's get rid of the those. Let's get rid of the ranged units here. Spinny! This guy's standing immune? Nope. He's gonna explode though. Nope, these guys are stunned. Wong, Spinny! Yeah, Spinny dis destroys enemies. And this guy got stunned. And can I get an immunity? Yep. I like that. I like jumping and electrifying enemies and then like going through them. Yeah. And explode. Oh, or whatever. We have two chests to open. Come on, give me give me something good. Energy charge. Wait, energy recharge. Energy charge one per one. Also, uh, so I get two energy per second. Increase crit damage. Eh. Increase crit rate by a certain amount for 10% of charged energy. So if I have max energy, this is going to give me 7% crit chance. Let's go with energy recharges over time. Might be a bad choice, but now we have almost infinite energy healing. Uh, stun every 4.5 seconds and uh, movement speed and attack speed. No, let's go for stun every 4.5 seconds. So half a second faster. If I make that, if I take that thing like seven times, I can have it every one second. Sub weapon attack 10%. I still have the good sub weapon thing. Weapon damage 10% for each space. No main weapon 5% more damage. I guess let's uh, let's take 5% more normal damage. I really like the spinning attack. Okay, let's go to the middle point. Maybe should not have opened those chests up. I don't know. I think they are still value for money. What is this? When a fire core appears, no. I want electric. Actually, fire cores are pretty decent. Ten percent chance to be a better grade. Uh, for three hundo. First, let's low. Let's lower our this thing. Okay. Now we can go. And what do you sell? Do you sell max HP? Increase max HP. I like this as a choice. Yeah, let's take it out. And now, yeah, now we cannot pick that up. But still, it, it was worth it to get 50%, 20% more max HP and 50 healing. Uh, we need a bit of survivability. We need, as long as I don't know how to play perfectly, survivability is perfect. <laughs> we are at the boss layer, it seems. Spinny! Yeah, Spinny is destroy enemies. What do you guys think you're doing? Spin. And your toast. Let's continue. I haven't lost HP yet. 
Got to remember two, two chests. You know why I said I haven't lost HP yet, right? So that I will lose HP in a bit. Everything part of the plan. I like the triple lightning. Because it seems like every strike has a chance of its own to stun the enemies. That has to be the case, right? We are getting so many stuns in here. There's a burger there. Spin- oh, I tried to spin you there. But it wasn't a success story. Oh. I also like that I have the frost shield. So, I'm not always taking damage. First I have the whole frost shield to go through, and then I will start taking damage. Okay, what do we get? The fire core, which I'm gonna pick up, or a, a like, a like. Sea heart, realize like, uh, gems, damage for the, nope, gotta get the gems. I don't understand why I would pick up the range damage. Uh, increase main weapon, bench attack, full HP, never happening. Electric cores have a higher chance for yeah, let's go for the electric course, have a higher chance to find epic, etc. Maybe we can get the, another dash electricity thing. Max life, obviously not. Let's go for the fire core. We find ignition missile skill, creates a guided missile when using a skill, S skill, any skill. The guided missile homes in on target after one second, it disappears if it does not find target within three seconds. Fire missiles created three, it creates three of them. Hyper core, this is the ultimate. But it's a normal version. Surround yourself with flames as you jump into the air and rain consecutive attacks on your enemies. And increase flame weapon skill by... I don't have flame weapon skills. So let's go with this. Let's go with... When I use a skill... Yeah, look at this. Three little thingies. And let's go with an electric core. I really like electric cores right now. They also have a 10% chance to gain, you know, a bit more. I would like to get this as a purple version, the dash. Can I get I can can I get the dash again, but as a purple version? Is that a possibility here? I tried to avoid everything, but I was not able to. That was a mistake. Okay, right now. Oh, I think the shield is still protecting me. This is not the boss, right? Open up, man. Spin. Electricity. Spin. Try to destroy the top guys first. Spin. Also dash all the time for the electricity. Okay. I don't know what hit me there. Okay, I didn't see the poison. I was like, YOLO. Explode, please. Nice. We lost some HP, but it's okay. We found some HP too, so still okay. What's this? Come on, give me, give me what I want. Electric dash. No, this is a new dash. No. Increase crit damage. Uh, jump into the air and create a thunderstorm for 1.5 seconds. The storm will randomly strike enemies within the lightning. You will deal damage when landing and shock enemies that are hit. Thunderstorm. Ha, <laughs> let's take an ulti thunderstorm, I guess. I didn't want that, but that's what we get. Uh, as if I knew. 5% uh, attack speed pretty nice. 3% crit chance. Here's weapon damage at 20 for each base. Let's go with attack speed. I mean... Crit chance would also be nice, but... Here's weapon damage by 20% for each space between you and the enemy. What does space mean? Let's go for 5% more damage. As far as I remember, there were two chests here. If there were three, it's okay. Uh, ice core, and it's a forced one, so this is definitely the boss room. I don't understand why I get forced when uh, to what I have to choose when the boss room's up. But uh, it is what it is. What it is. Burn. Uh, should not have jumped. Definitely not a jump there. The electric. Yeah, I lost some HP here for no reason again. Uh, let's open these up as there is. This is the boss room. Uh, what's this? When HP is below 3%, take. Oh, I like this. 
This is range and this is yeah, let's go for, let's go for 50% more damage when I'm low on life. Is this not the boss room? What's happening? This one again about 60% increases main weapon skill attack crit range by 3%. Yeah, let's take 3% more crit chance on this spinny attack. So indeed this was not the boss room. And uh, then I definitely don't understand why I had no choice in the matter of what to choose. Oh, I didn't see that was an explosion guy. Let's charge up. Wait for those guys to appear. Spinny! I, I tried to dash, but as you know, dash has actually a cooldown. Spinny! I'm gonna electrify you until you go down. Ice core. Let's pick it up. Sub weapon upgrade. Replace the sub weapon projector with a frost storm. I think I might. Enemies under the effect of freeze will have an increase. This is never happening. Each cryo core you have, this is also never happening. So, wait, what? The amount of damage taken from enemies is reduced. I don't know if I want the cryo storm. Uh, flick chill on enemies and trajectory. Frost storm attack 52. I think I will take take less damage. Nah, let's take the frost core. I mean, I have the dash for electricity. Now I can have the frost for this uh, for the frost thing, so I can see enemies as much as possible. And I have burn for on myself, so I now have everything. The only thing I hope. Oh, this is a normal boss. Okay, got it. The only thing I hope is that uh, freeze and fire do not actually cancel each other out because that would be a really bad choice in a game that has three elements, ice, fire and lightning. Imagine that, one of the three elements counters the other. Human, what did you lose that you could come all this way? Did you lose your home, your family? Regardless of what you lost, it'll be your life lost this time. Let's charge up right away. Oh. Okay, let's get the crit rolling. Maybe maybe do our ultimate? Should I do our ult ultimate? Electricity! I don't see what's happening. Double jump, triple jump, double jump, double jump. Okay, seems like I should always double jump or something. Whoa, that was like extreme. How how much damage do I do? Okay, he poisoned us. I have 4 HP right now. So it's gonna be the end of me. Uh oh. I died. Oh, he even desecrated our body. Ah. Should have went with, I guess, two more spinny attacks, but the difference would not be that big. Uh, I didn't know how to handle that boss, but now I know if I go up to him again. Just stay in the air a bit more often and wait for him to, at some point, slam his, uh, you know, skull into the wall. Anyway, 3%. Uh, you can purchase gear from Honk at the lower price. You can get to Sophia's lab from Hotel Halona. Okay, let's do that. Let's unlock her. I guess in the midpoint. Because I think Hotel Halona is the midpoint. This time, let's not forget to unlock a weapon. Let's get the axe, I guess. Now I have an axe weapon. Ooh, it's a bit slower. And what does the charge attack do? Nice. And uh, what do we have here? Upgrades the axe reducing the charge the charge duration by half second and increase the attack of charge attacks by 10%. So this is the charge build. Each time an axe hits an enemy, damage increased by 3%. I like this. Receive 1.5 of your max HP as an additional all weapon attack. Oh, so if I have a, blo a bunch of HP, um, it I will if this is if I have a bunch of HP I'm gonna have so for if I have 200 HP I should get three percent more damage well let's go for three percent damage per hit then with uh, when I say three I mean six let's also get some other upgrades so that we are pretty much done wait what do what do you want now okay for example cyclone dash when dashing creates an axe that results around the player's body the spinning axe is two damage I can pay ten to start with this passive. Otherwise, I have to be lucky and find him in the run or after the boss room to give him my roses. So he gives you a rose upgrade for giving him meta currency. It seems, which uh, I don't think is worth it. Let's take more damage here. 
And let's take more max health too. Actually, let's start. Wait, I could have unlocked another weapon. Well, it doesn't matter. I have everything max. I'm still level 7. Seems like level scales with uh, time played. So, yeah, I have 250 max HP, so this is already a lot better than before. Anyway, that's uh, gonna be it, though, for today. So, hopefully, everybody was... Uh, yeah, If you hopefully you guys liked the content. If you did, leave, leave a like, helping out the channel. And if you'd like to support us even more, Patreon is always there. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. This was our second run. Most likely gonna do a third run with the axe and see how that goes. And after that, uh, maybe one with the weapon too. And then, maybe I will decide if I should continue this thing or not. Comments about this question in particular are very welcome. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.